Hey everyone, what is going on? So as you all know, for the past week or so, we've been covering an extensive look at some of the top light guns or light gun uses that are currently available for either the Raspberry Pi and also PC. Uh, right here, we have the Sinden non-recoil. We have one in black. This is a non-recoil version. And then of course, we have the Sinden light gun recoil version. And over here on the top left, we have the Wee Dolphin bar. And uh, I'm sorry, the Wee Dolphin um, uh, remote. You guys can get that with your Nintendo Wii. And then here, I've never shown this one on the channel, but this is the PlayStation 3 Gun Con 3 gun. I really love this thing. So uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the technology that is involved in each one of these. So as you guys all know, the Dolphin Wii Remote requires Bluetooth connectivity as well as an infrared sensor bar. Uh, the GunCon 3 made for the PlayStation 3. This came out back around 2007. Uh, this one is specifically made for Time Crisis 3. It comes with additional drivers that can only be found in the game. It has two infrared uh, sensors that uh, load or you can actually set up on top of your TV. Really great accuracy. Um, I know with the particular game for this gun, there's five different points where you need to calibrate it, and then pretty much it's really, really fairly accurate. I've never had any issues with this. Uh, this particular gun has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons on here. It has a total of eight buttons. And then, of course, you have this joystick here. Uh, the downfall about this gun is this game is specifically made for Time Crisis 3, and it only loads the drivers for the game when you actually play the game. The drivers actually come from the CD. Uh, you can't even use this gun to navigate inside. Oh, actually, there's another button here because you could press in on it. Yeah, so with this gun, you can't even use it to navigate around the menu. I know that this was being worked on to work for the Pi 3 uh, a few years ago. Um, I do have the drivers, but apparently I believe the project uh, stopped. I believe the guy just found something else to do. But um, it is fairly possible to get this to work for RetroPie. And then, of course, we have both the Sin and Light guns, which you guys have seen a little bit earlier. Uh, this is the recoil version. Uh, really good accuracy. Works really well with the PC. I haven't had a chance to play around with this yet uh, for the Pi 4 or for the Pi 3B+. Plus. So the question is, which one of these devices should you actually go with? And also keep in mind, there is another gun called the Gun 4 IR, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, made by JB. Uh, there are several guys in the community. I know Ray, he has a modified version. He can modify pretty much any gun to work with that type of technology. And then, of course, there is another gun coming out. Uh, it's not the gun for IR, <clears throat> excuse me, but there's another gun uh, that is coming out. Can't really speak about it, but it does have the technology built into the gun. And that's really, really good if you plan to use it for RetroPie because that way you don't have to worry about any emulator configuration or have to worry about any software updates and things like that. So I have these guns, and so you guys are probably wondering, which one of these do I prefer or which one is probably best for you? So all in all, all these guns have their specific uses. Unfortunately, this could only be used on the PlayStation 3. And then, of course, these are limited right now to PlayStation. I'm sorry, not, uh, actually, no, you can use these right now with PlayStation. There is a project being worked on for the Sin and Light Gun for that. Then, of course, this worked for RetroPie, uh, Linux, and also PC. Now, if you guys are in the market, if you're new to the whole Light Gun series, what is the big deal about the light gun? So I know the technology or really the hype and the big wave started around the later, later part of 2018. And a lot of people said, oh, light guns don't work on LCDs. And that's been a lie for a long time. I mean, obviously, you could have used these on uh, LCD. You could have used this on your PlayStation 2, your PlayStation 3. Light guns never went anywhere. It's just more or less the type of technology that's been behind it. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with light guns, light guns originated back in the arcades. You could also use it on your Nintendo uh, back in the day with the zapper gun. And those operated using your tube uh, uh, TV in order to correspond with the gun and get them to respond. Now, a lot of people also don't know this, but a true light gun, a true light gun in, in all essence, in all sense, won't work on a digital connection. 
I know several videos ago, some people tried to modify their gun using, uh, they took the stock RCA connections that were made for a RK light gun, tried to use as video and because you, as video is digital, it wouldn't work. So even though some people may say they have the true light gun experience, uh, you just have different forms of technology. So all of these have their own different essence and technology. They're all light guns, but as far as the technology is all a little different. So for me personally, even though these are a little bit newer, uh, these use a web camera in order to interface. And of course, you have to use a black screen or uh, the white trim on the screen and minimizes your screen in order to get fully accurate. All light guns, in the sense, have some type of calibration or tracking issue. All of them do whether it's infrared, whether it's Bluetooth, whether it's using a trim. I have not seen any gun say, hey, here, here you go. I have not seen any type of technology out there where you're using a light gun and you don't need to have some type of sensor bar or some type of calibration system. Haven't seen it whatsoever. Now, in terms of use, one of the best light guns that I still prefer um, I know you have the aim track bar, or I'm sorry, the aim track gun that is out there. But one of the simplest and easiest light gun senses to use is the Wee Dolphin bar and the Wee Dolphin remote. Reason being is you probably have one of these already laying around. Um, this is from my Nintendo Wii that I bought back in 2007. And so if you have one of these laying around this is a piece of technology that can be used nowadays now it doesn't give you the accuracy that you would get with sending or maybe the gun for ir but the cool thing is if you already have a bunch of these laying around your money didn't go to waste you can get one of these little guns here back in the day i got these for about 10 bucks and of course now you can get the wii sensor bar well at the time that i got mine it was only 17 bucks but now because everybody is into the whole light gun craze, uh, the Wee Dolphin Bar, or the Dolphin Bar actually, has now skyrocketed in, pra uh, in price down to about 30 bucks, which is really unfortunate. The cool thing is, uh, if you sync this up for your PC or for your RetroPie, this will automatically transfer those settings over to that device. So I was actually pretty amazed to see I synced this up with my RetroPie and then automatically plugged it in to work, uh, plugged it into my Odroid device on my Odroid XU4. And everything was already set up and good to go. I didn't have to recalibrate any buttons or anything. It automatically registered all the senses, uh, sensors. So uh, this works on your Wii. This works on your uh, PC. This also works on a RetroPie. And this also can work on your Dolphin Bar. And if you want, you can just pull this out. And you can use this as a gamepad. So if you want to use this as your uh, for your RetroPie controller or your gun, you could do both. In fact, I was actually playing X-Men, uh, just walking around using the Wii remote. Uh, didn't have to use any of the buttons here to uh, map out my uh, my settings. I could just walk around on the screen and it, uh, map the uh, sensors here uh, for the gun. So that's a really good affordable device to have if you are planning on using this. You don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, this again, you could get one of these remotes for about what 12 to 20 bucks, and then of course, you have a, a Wii uh, Dolphin Bar actually, just a Dolphin Bar. I'm sorry, uh, that's now about 30 bucks, but you can use that all across the board. You could also use that on PC. Now, the cool thing is, too, you have the Gun 4 IR, and I can tell you guys today that there have been a few videos where people are already using the Gun 4 IR on PC and they are using it on RetroPie. Um, another gentleman in the community does have the gun for IR. He did go ahead and sync it up to his Raspberry Pi 4, and it only took him eight minutes to get it to set up. So if you guys have seen my previous video with Kong, um, obviously, personally, we can't say that the gun for IR is really supported on the Pi 4, but it does work. Reason being is, for my personal standpoint i would have to test at least two or three different games from every different emulator to really give it a thumbs up and good to go but they don't advertise it to work but you can connect it to the pi 4 and so uh you do have that there um additionally um it does have good uh tracking as far as that type of technology that gun uses uh four 
uh, infrareds, whereas the GunCon 3 only has two different types of sensors as far as infrared technology. But this was a really good gun, and these guns are actually more expensive than the Time Crisis. Actually, I think I said Time Crisis 3. It's Time Crisis 4, I'm sorry. Uh, the Time Crisis 4 game the, for the PlayStation 3. Really good accuracy. Didn't have any problems with it. These guns were ranging from about a 65 to 120 bucks. So that was actually twice the amount of the game itself. And I have two of these. And those games, uh, I think they run for about 20 bucks, but the guns are much more rare and expensive. And you can't buy the guns uh, in a standalone fashion. So maybe I'll do some gameplay on the channel with this uh, particular gun. So again, we have the sending light guns. You guys have already seen a lot of videos from my channel and then also the, uh, what's out there as well. Um, a lot of configuration to go ahead and get these set up. So again, I just wanted to showcase some of the light guns or different technologies that are available to you in the community. If you just want to go ahead and get something very, very simple to play some light gun games, I would personally go with the Wee Dolphin Bar. Uh, you could use it across your PC. You could use it on Raspberry Pi. And the cool thing about this and also even the Gun 4 IR is these are hardware-based uh, interfaces where you really don't need software. Like, so for example, the Sendin, you need software to integrate with the Raspberry Pi 4 and also your PC. However, with the Gun 4 IR and also this one, this one uses a bar and then also the Gun 4 IR uses uh, infrared. And the reason why that's a good scenario as far as actually with the Gun 4 IR, it has a, a Arduino uh, system that's built in. Uh, it's set up outside of RetroPie. And RetroPie is a total different beast because if you have something that's software based, just like the Sending Light Gun, if the RetroPie official team pushes out an update, or let's say RetroArch team or one of the other cores gets updated, it can render all the software totally obsolete. And that's one of the difficulties that we've had in the past when uh, Supreme Ultra was being made. And when you're making a uh, custom based image is if, if one of those updates come out and you have your image and you have your build, it could destroy everything because that's just how RetroPie is. You know, one little tweak or a little, one little period or comma and a command line could totally just break your build and render it useless, which is why. Uh, I give my hats off to obviously the gun for our, our team, our team. And then of course, having this type of technology where even if there is a software update, you're still hardware based and you can still configure it because this is registered as a gamepad and is also registered as a Wii remote. Now, as you guys all know, there is the aim track gun and the aim track gun kind of falls in line into the same aspect with the send and light gun because that gun also has software and the aim track gun isn't fully capable on the Pi 4. Reason being is it needs advanced main 1.4 and main for all in order to work, especially for the light gun games. And that's why a lot of you, when you saw pistol arrow and you saw the aim track software loaded obviously thought it would work so i went and did my research and come to find out ultimark doesn't even support linux or retro pi they only made it for pc and that software integration for raspberry pi for linux was made by a developer in the community still being worked on to this day but so uh these are some of the technologies you guys can expect or see uh, in the community if you are looking to play light gun games. Again, this works for the Wii. This is specifically for the PlayStation 3, for that one specific ga uh, game, Time Crisis. And then, of course, you also have the two sending light guns, which you guys are all familiar with. Hope this video was informative for some of you. Um, there will be some additional light guns coming out. Um, hopefully, I should be getting a gun for IR maybe next month or two uh, to maybe just uh, test for all of you and kind of look at some of the technologies. But again, I love the Dolphin Bar personally because I know it'll work for the Oldroid. It'll work for RetroPie. It'll work for PC. It's hardware-based. I don't have to worry about software or emulator configurations. I mean, now keep in mind, you, stay, you still can go through every emulator to get better accuracy with this. There's a lot of stuff in RetroArch and also the main settings where you can adjust the calibration for a gun like that, as well as the send and light gun. You can go in and adjust a lot of stuff. But all in all, I love all of these. 
And these are all great pieces of technology that are out there for uh, light guns and for all of you to enjoy. This is Keel Dyke and hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial. And I will catch you guys next time. Stay tuned for some better videos and follow-ups regarding light guns. Thank you.